What's up guys, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to back up and restore your apps when changing custom ROMs. So at the moment I'm actually on PA ROM using Apex Launcher and I've got all my apps here, everything set up exactly how I want it. But say I want to go ahead and try out, I don't know, Cyanogen Mod or any other ROM. I don't want to go ahead and install all these apps again from the Play Store, so I'm going to show you how to back up and restore that process and just how easy it is. It makes it a hell of a lot easier to try different ROMs. So the first thing you'll need to do guys is download Carbon Backup and pull it up here and you'll see select all, hit that, make sure the app data only is unticked. Yes, it's smaller backups, but then you'll have to install the app and it's kind of long. So uh, it, you can see I've got 85 apps selected for backup. Now you don't have to tick them all. For example, if you don't want Nova or um, you know any of the games, you can, put, you, you, you can take whatever the hell you want out of it. You don't have to have it nonetheless. Some apps aren't um, aren't allowed to be backed up. I'm not quite sure why that is, which is kind of annoying, but there's not that many, so you can just go ahead and download those. Most of them are backup available. So uh, you can see it also saves your messages and, and your user dictionary. Now you just want to hit backup, put it on the USB storage if you've got space. It'll do its thing once you uh, allow it. And that's it, guys. It's now off. Once I, let me uh, remember this choice forever makes it easier. And now it's going to do a full backup and off it goes. So uh, yeah, I'll skip to when it's done the backup guys. Okay guys, and when you get to this screen, you're done. Your backup is complete. You can see your app backup is complete. You're good to go. If you want to just quickly check, you can hit restore and sync, uh, hit USB storage, and you'll see all your apps there that you just restored. Now, that's it, you're good to go. Now, if you wanna keep your uh, launcher settings, you have to have a, like a special launcher like Apex, otherwise you're just gonna to have to uh, do that all again. But if you've got Apex, you can actually uh, save and restore that. Um, so you have all your home screens there. But nonetheless, guys, that's it. So what we do now is we reboot, go into the recovery, and apparently super user is requesting something, but it's too late, we're already rebooting. Okay guys, so I'm using the team win recovery. What you have to do now is uh, factory resets. This is gonna get rid of all your apps on the uh, data partition. So say goodbye to all your apps because now they're gone. You want to uh, wipe some caches as well. So the Delvic one, cache and the cache one. And then you want to go ahead and install your ROM. So I'm actually installing a ROM that I'm gonna review a little bit later today. So it's quite cool. Rice bean jelly. Add more zips, G apps, flash. And I'll let that flash, guys, and I'll skip to when it boots up. Okay, guys, I've just uh, rebooted the system, so it's flashed the new ROM. You can see it's not on PA anymore, it's now on Raspbian and Jelly, which is quite an awesome ROM, guys. I've already tested it out once, but uh, I just wanted to redo this so people could see how I restore and back up my app data and apps. So yeah, let's wait for it to start up. Okay guys, and you get to your welcome screen, so let's just do this quickly. Um, I'll skip that, I'll just use my data signal. Uh, whoops, skip anyway. Um, you will need your Gmail because you're gonna go to the store and download Carbon. And hopefully I'll get this password right the first time. Signing in. Not gonna do any of that stuff. Okay, let it start up and we're good to go. So obviously now you have no apps on here whatsoever. Um, kind of sucks. So where's all your apps, right? What you need to do is go to the Play Store, guys. You need to download Carbon. Nice keyboard on this wrong, by the way. Um, here it is, Carbon, install. Let this install, wait for it to appear on your home screen. Um, here we go. There it is. Open it up. Okay, log into your Google account. Yeah, why not? In case you've got it uh, log, uh, logged into your Dropbox or anything like that, this is quite nice to have, or Google Drive or whatever. So it checks for this, you can grant it. Super user stuff. So you want to restore and sync, guys. Hit USB storage. There are all your apps. Now, annoyingly, I don't think you can uh, click them all. So you have to kind of go through them and tick them all. Nonetheless, it means you can uh, 
choose what to restore if you don't want to restore them all. But uh, I'll skip this, guys, because this could take a little bit of time. Okay, guys, and before I uh, carry on, some of them don't let you actually restore, even though you've got a backup. So you can see here most of the paid ones, in fact, for example, Franco's kernel updater. You can see the, the app data is still there, but if you uh, tick it, it says this app has been protected from being backed up. Please download it from the Google Play Store before syncing the app data. If you click OK, it allows you to uh, do that. You can install the app just from there, and then you can go ahead and restore your data. I'm just going to leave that for now because you know most of them do work. You can see I've got 75 here. I think I had 83 that were backed up. Hit restore, and that's it, guys. You just uh, wait it out. So we'll... Uh, I'll skip to the end here, guys. You can see I'm not doing anything else. It's just restoring the app data. Okay, guys, in about 20 minutes later, you'll get your restore complete, and you can rate carbon as well if you want to do that. Let's just cancel, go out. You can see Apex has been installed now. We'll, uh, we'll just hit back to launcher. We'll go into my uh, app drawer here, and you can see all my apps are, in fact, here. Now, I'll just quickly jump into, I don't know, WhatsApp. And, yep, you can see all my chats are still here. So the data was restored, which is uh, nice to see. Let's check out another one. Let's go one. into something else, guys. We'll go into Falcon Pro and see if that's uh, still there. And you can see I'm already signed in. All my information is all still so there. There you have it, guys. That's as easy as it is. All my apps are back on it. You just have to leave it for about 20 minutes while it restores. All the app data for the app, your apps are there. Now, I know it didn't restore every single app, but you can just quickly go into it. And, um, for example... Let's see one that didn't install due to it being a paid app would be, I don't know, Franco Kernel Updater, for example. Once you tick that, it says, please download it. Once you download it, you uh, can restore the update and you'll have all your app data back there. So it's uh, it's not much of a problem there, guys. It's really good. It does work. That's as easy as it is for me to transfer between ROMs and keep all my apps. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. See you all later.